telling you, telling you, telling you, the morning has got nothing but assholes out. Look at these motherfuckers, why are they goddamn fucking stopped? Sean Spicer. Oh, the condom. Why do you call him the condom? Why not? Because it doesn't make any sense. Because the better part of the yeah, but that 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 would be shit stain. That uh, land section. He's got a very thankless fucking job. Well, fuck him. He's, <laughs> he needs he needs work. He found work. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the wrong work for him. He's not a press secretary. That's not his expertise. Me. That is not his expertise. Fuck Spicer. Fuck him. Fuck that whole administration. Uh, yeah, well, you're stuck with it for the next four years at least. Look, I am praying for an impeachment. Fuck you. I'm praying you're for nothing, uh, uh, Okay, do I have to explain this shit again? You're not going to get an impeachment. I want it. You may want it. I want a million dollars. I can hope for it. Stop I, crushing my goddamn dreams. I want a million dollars, but neither one of us is going to get what we want. You're not going to get an impeachment. The Republicans won't allow it. You're not going to get his tax returns. The Republicans are not going to allow it. They are in power. Everybody's hoping for next year when these major elections come up. Yeah, but I've seen what's going to happen. The same fucking In your Repo dirty little Christmas crystal ball? The same fucking Republicans you've got in Congress now are going to get fucking reelected because them stupid ass knuckle dragon, backwoods fucking sister fucking Republicans are going to vote them back in. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Yes, they because they're just that fucking stupid. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. They are just that fucking stupid. Well, the, the... They're the ones that vote for Republicans regardless of fucking what. They cut their own fucking noses. They don't realize diddly squat. They're just voting the big R. The, the election in Kansas. That Kansas. election in Kansas proved it. They had the opportunity right there. They saw what's going on. They see what's going but on. Gotta, but they put fucking blinders on. You, they put the blinders on and still vote the big R. You gotta look at the numbers, though. The numbers don't mean diddly swat. They, they don't mean shit. They do. It's win or lose. The Republican won. You gotta won. look at the numbers. The Republican It should have been won. a landslide, and it was a tight election. That means some people changed. In the end, the Republican won. Only by a thousand votes. They saw this motherfucker what he's done. They see what he's doing. He's gotten every fucking department. The EPA just came out with a new fucking memo that said that all these mining companies can go ahead and start dumping all their shit into the water. So now you got fucking water tainted with fucking runoff from coal sludge and shit, full of fucking arsenic, lead, who knows what else, going into the streams because that's business. And these motherfuckers living in coal country are the ones that are going to be affected by it first, but they're the ones voting for fucking Republicans because, hey, Republican. But don't they get their water from a different source? fucking water from. All that fucking chemical shit is gonna leach into it. Well, what if you use the life straw? Doesn't that get out what all the... What the fuck is a life straw? It's a new device. Where the fuck are you getting this shit from? You haven't heard of the life straw. Are you blowing this shit out your ass just to annoy me? <laughs> no! There's a thing called a life straw and they're giving it to countries that don't have potable water and you can drink with it and filters out all I got, I got something they can drink water from. A lot of it. Especially early in the morning when I first wake up. Life straw. That's what 
that's called. Google it. No, 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 no. You Google. You think that's, that's why they're finding these life on these other planets? And then they're going to shuttle us off as colonists to these other planets and just use Earth and mine it for all its resources? I don't know, but Scott, Scott, what's his name? Scott Pruitt? I don't know who that is. The head of the EPA? I think he's forgotten that the P in EPA means protection. He probably feels like a pawn. More like a prong, the little fucker. Oh, that's good. Is he a shrimp? Hey, he's small. Small stature. And he got small hands running this fucking administration. Because Donald don't want anybody with bigger hands than he has. Okay, to all you Republicans, I want you to... I want this to sink in. All right, I really want this to sink in. Every time that douchebag goes to Florida, to Mar-a-Lago, we pay Donald Trump to host Donald Trump at a Donald Trump resort. So let that sink in. We pay Donald Trump to take care of Donald Trump. Okay, you got that? Because he owns that property, we have to pay him. So we're paying Donald Trump to take care of Donald Trump. Every meal he has there goes into his fucking pocket. We are paying him to take care of him. So he's double dipping. He's more than double dipping. We have to take care of his family, him. The people in that fucking county are fucking crying. They're going broke because every time he shows up, everything closes down. You can't fly there. They close the airport because Air Force One is sitting there. You can't fly into Palm Beach Airport. Oh, there's my sheriff with the fucking mirror. Fucking douchebags. Uh, the, uh, see? See what he does? See? See? With his little mirror, checking on everything, touching everything. Making sure they ain't no B-O-N-B-S. <coughs> Alright, now the trash can. Shake it, kick it. There you go. Yep, stuck his hand in it. The next day. If you could go back in time, what year would you choose and why? It's a personal thing. Whatever, however you want to answer it. 1865 mathematics. Oh, God. Why? Why? Because I'd like to ask Lee, was it really worth it? Was what really worth it? Was that whole civil war worth it? All that destruction, all that loss, was it really fucking worth it? I like to go back to night to 1798 and ask Alexander Hamilton why does he write like he's running out of time. I mean, really, where would you go? <sighs> so much time to choose from, right? I don't want to go back in time. I want to go forward. To what time? I don't know the real future. I want to see what we have coming. No, I don't. Yeah, I want to see the future. No. Maybe a hundred years in the future? Is it okay to spank a teenager with a belt? Huh, it's okay to spank a kid anytime. What, are you kidding me? Hell yeah, we'll whip that ass. Why don't you elaborate on what you mean? If they deserve a spank and give it to them, shit. They're the rot spoil a child. You know, don't quote the Bible like you believe the Bible. No, seriously. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. No, I don't think a teenager should be spanked. I think a young kid should be spanked. By the time he becomes a teenager, he won't need a spanking. If you raise him right, you won't have to. <coughs> but you know... They are gentrifying this neighborhood, slowly but surely. 
but you know not every kid is the same not every situation is the same um I think it depends on what the crime is and what the kid is and what the situation is. There's a lot of factors there. I would hope that parents don't have to beat their kids with belts and stuff. But I know there's parents is out there struggling and I know there's no help for these kids. It's going to be even less now. I know there's no help for these women struggling with these children and then schools don't help. All they're doing is doing these restraining <coughs> hugs. <coughs> That's because they... You know, <coughs> we have this whole different culture about child rearing and... You know, when I was growing up, when I was a young... I, I, I was actually young once. When I was a young... You got your ass beat really good. I mean, parents didn't play around then. You did something bad, you got the shit kicked out of you. Even the cops did it. And there wasn't all this juvenile delinquency shit and all that. And fucking cops catch you doing something because the cops were in the neighborhood. They knew who the parents were. They fucking whip your ass. They would take you, throw you in the cop car, take you around the corner, whip your fucking ass, take you home to your dad. Oh, now, God. mind you... <clears throat> Mind you, this is old world now. A lot of these people, they were immigrants coming to this country and everything, right? The sight of a fucking cop car coming in front of your house was enough to set them off. First of all. Mm. So when the cop comes to the house, takes you out of the car and takes you upstairs to your daddy, you knew what was coming. Because that was just such a humiliation to them. That the cops came to their house. So you definitely didn't fuck up. I mean, you did childish bullshit, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. But as far as other things, you know, really bad things, you just didn't do it. I didn't grow up in the world <clears throat> where. If anybody saw a kid messing up, they'd beat their ass and take them home to their mother. That too. I didn't grow up in that. But what I did grow up with is, if you were acting up in school, the teachers told you you were acting up in school, take home to your mom or your mom. They beat your ass. Yes, they did. It wasn't any of this, you don't have the right to do this to my child or this to that. You know, It wasn't none of that stuff. I grew up where if you were doing something wrong, by the time you got home, mm. your parents knew what you had done. I grew up with that too. I grew up with that too. Well, no point in lying, she already fucking knew. She knew everything, step by step, what you had done. But people did lie though. Uh, I never did marijuana on top of somebody's car. That wasn't me. So... All the other bullshit I did, that one I didn't do. But today, you know, kids having a problem in school, parents challenge it. You're not allowed to do this or that or the other. I mean, that's why you got the. That's why you got these fucking babies now. This whole child rearing these days is just ridiculous, completely ridiculous. Okay, bye bye.